Oh, we'll get to the audio clip behind me. But first, we have to talk about George Santos, who's currently doing a back and forth on Twitter that's not going his way. I just asked the SEC to investigate George Santos for violating federal securities law. Mr. Santos illegally operated as a broker without a license, raising funds from unsuspecting investors for Harbor City Capital, a $17 million Ponzi scheme, messing with people's money. That might be something that George Santos actually needs to worry about. And that might be why he's responding. As clearly stated in the SEC investigation, I never raised money for Harbor City Capital. Where was this energy last Congress when you could have done something to stop Biden's agenda from killing our economy? Unfortunately, you're all about performance politics. Oh. George Santos forgot that he illegally raised funds for Harbor City Capital and accused Ponzi scheme without registering as a broker with the SEC. Let me refresh his poor memory. Now, this is interesting. The market stability is leading to sever capital erosion. Harbor City Capital offers you a strategy that mitigates loss and risk while creating cash flow. Meanwhile, your principal is 100% secured by an SBLC held by various major institutions. And someone responded, George, this SBLC I received from Harbor City was looked into. And the Dutch bank claims it's a complete fraud and not signed by the bank officer on the document. How can you explain this? I mean, I would consider this someone trying to sell someone on Harbor City Capital, at least. But let's see how George Santos responds to this. Where does it show me raising funds? You need some help, Richie Torres. Now, there is a response that some people are making. I'm not showing it because it's not proven where, and it's an image from March 2020 that has George Santos' account telling people on a fixed income to invest like a true conservative to get through the Biden inflation. But this person, you know... Mr. A Trader seems pretty clear that you got him to invest $625,000 with Harbor City, and apparently he's talking to the feds. So, um, yeah, it's not good for George Santos. So now that we've gone through why George Santos is panic replying on Twitter, ah, uh, this is a fun one. So, the vigils have been hyped with uh, meeting Marjorie Taylor Greene. So let's see. Kevin McCarthy corrected Marjorie Taylor Greene and said the police officer who shot Ashley Babbitt was doing his job. The first things Marjorie Taylor Greene said from the oversight dais was that Ashley Babbitt was murdered. Mm -hmm. Do you think Ashley Babbitt was murdered or do you think the police officer who shot her was doing his job? I think the police officer did his job. The first thing... I think the police officer did his job. Now, if you're from the vigil and you're watching this, just by chance, I want to point out that uh, I believe with the new House rules, Marjorie Taylor Greene could call a vote to remove Kevin McCarthy. Why do I think that's not going to happen? 